en junker red ved juletid. Ting, tong, ting, du til dig. Og bring ham da med sneen hvid. Ting, tong, ting, du til dig. Welcome to This Week in Our Collective Heads. We're talking about the totes for this week, which is bad games, which are still addictively fun to play. So I'll, I'll go ahead and start with one of mine, which is Goat Simulator. That is that is not <laughs> that is not a finished game. That is nope. not complete, but it is still so much fun to play and 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 really entertaining. And so that was that was the one that I well, one of the ones that I chose sure. as, as a bad game that is addictively fun to play. So give me just one second. Let me look up Alex's response because he okay. had some some thoughts about this. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll throw one in there while you're doing that. Uh, Alpha Protocol for Xbox 360. Um, so Alpha Protocol for Xbox 360 uh, was a third-person shooter uh, game where you got to play a uh, secret agent, if you will. And correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it's basically like a secret agent kind of thing. Um, and it was third-person shooting, but you could uh, unlock different... Um, skill sets so you could be really good at demolitions you could be um a hacker you could be stealthy you could be really good at heavy weaponry um it was basically like think far cry or those kind of games uh, but it, as a third person um third person rpg it wasn't open world uh, but mm -hmm. you would select specific missions and you could do the mission depending on your skill set and what and how you've loaded out your 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 character it's a true rpg in that sense where yeah. you could go in and take on the mission either stealth all out uh warfare demolition whatever you want to do um i think it was a really cool concept i played a ton of it and it was buggy as heck it wasn't very good <laughs> but i really i i played it and i was like this is this could be so good and uh and no one else would play it uh, except yeah. for me uh so we had alex says most all simulation games to me are bad but fun farming sims etc but the worst addiction game is probably dr mario um I'm, yeah i'm 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 not so so much a fan of like the uh the dr mario as opposed to tetris it's yeah it's it was, an interesting it idea, yeah. but it gets to me. It gets old really quick. But I, yeah. I know that there are some who just keep playing it. I didn't get it. I didn't get addicted to it. Um, one I did get addicted to, which which was, which was, I guess you could consider it bad. Consider uh, in comparison to everything else that that uh, that came out, uh, okay. it's Two Worlds Two. I keep talking about this game, but the original Two Worlds was was bad. The second okay. Two Worlds game was better there were a lot of great aspects to it the storyline was better it wasn't great the mechanics in regards to your um spells and and uh to craft items was really interesting and really unique but the game wasn't very good i i i it holds a special place in my heart because i really would love for them to get funding and do a a, a third installment yeah. where it's better but i feel like that's still going to be where two worlds two should have been so it's kind of yeah. like a molyneux like every iteration every <laughs> new iteration is what the previous iteration was supposed to be yeah. um and it's really sad because the the developer came out when two worlds came out when the first two worlds came out they were talking about it saying this is going to put elder scrolls to shame yeah and and it's it's horrendous. The, the second game's not as bad, but it's still a bad game, and yeah. it's really sad because there's so many other good games out there. I put in so many hours on this game and didn't play good games at the time because it was addictive. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the comments, we have Word Word saying Sea of Thieves is a bad game that I love playing. <sighs> I don't think Sea of Thieves is a bad game. It's it's a bit hollow, but like it is the, hollow. The, yeah. The, yeah. The thing that the thing that brings brings people in is not necessarily the game itself, but the interactions. And yes. I can I can appreciate that. Yes. Uh, games that are game that is straight up bad, and this is for me and Cassandra, if she ever watches this video, is um, El Shaddai: Ascension of the Metatron. <laughs> that game is bad. It is it is straight up bad, and I love it. 
I love the crap out of that game. Um, the 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 combat is is very samey. You have like two moves, and you can you can you know flip back and forth and whatever. And and like the the difference between easy, medium, and hard is just how many hits the enemies take. There's no difference in tactics. No difference in anything else in the game except for that. But I love it. Yeah. I love that game, and and I love I love Lucifer as some dude in ratty blue jeans talking to God on a cell phone, like it 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 it, it takes it takes sacrilege to a whole new level. Yeah, and I yeah. appreciated that. And then uh, on the other end of the sacrilege spectrum, um, Exodus for the uh, for the it was Genesis and Nintendo, I believe, um, was a puzzle game that is pretty simple and it's mm -hmm. it's kind of a it's kind of like a it's it's almost like a flash game um it had maybe 15 different kinds of tiles four different kinds of enemies and they just recycled them and recycled them and recycled yeah. them but the puzzles themselves i think are good but i could beat them so they might not have been yeah <laughs> but uh but yeah God, i mean i think that I think there are a lot of games on NES that we could probably throw in here. Yeah. Um, uh, what was the the helicopter game? Something Strike. I can't remember that. That game was pretty crappy. But at yeah. the time, like I think that I think I have to give a pass to a lot of those games because you know you're coming out of you're coming out of the gaming uh, uh, depression, if you will, after the, the yeah. gaming crash. Um, so I, I have to give a pass to a lot of those, uh, but there were some that should have been that should have been better that, that weren't. Uh, I would say, um, and I love I love this game, and I know that it's not uh, I know it's not a great game, but I'm gonna okay. put Parappa the Rapper in here. Um, oh, I love the it. Rapper's fun. I think it's fun. Um, I don't. I think that a lot of people. I don't know that it wasn't enough for for some people. I'm sure that there are other people who would consider certain games bad because video games are art. Art is subjective, and there are yeah. some people who are going to say, you know, uh, you know, whatever. You know, someone's going to say like, oh, GTA Two was was a bad addictive game, and I would say no, but GTA One maybe. Um, G GTA <laughs> One is 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 a crazy addictive game that yeah. I. I honestly have no objectivity there. I, yeah. I don't I don't know. Yeah, and I I know there are some people who will throw games in there like that. I think yeah. we're getting to we're getting to an era now where there are a lot of indie games which you could find, you know, a very addictive uh, fun game that technically is uh, you know, objectively bad because we're talking about objectively yeah. bad games here. So not games that you just can't dig. Like, um, there was a puzzle game you didn't like recently and I can't remember what it was. Uh, on. It was quantum on. Conundrum. Yeah. Quantum conundrum. Right. I thought it was okay. You didn't like it. Um, but, but also like, like games. there are games like the witness, which is uh, objectively a good game and it's great. Yeah. And it's, it's very interesting, but if puzzle games aren't your thing, you can't just call it a bad game. We're just, right. we're talking about, we're talking about bad games. We're talking about broken, broken games here. Um, which, which to be fair, we have played our share of for the games with gold and the PlayStation plus roundup. Yeah. Cause Oh my goodness. Yeah, we could, but we, we, we tend not to get addicted to those. No. Um, I'll throw, I'll throw, I'll throw out one more from my childhood, okay. which is legacy of the wizard. Um, that game is broken as all heck. Mm -hmm. Um, I I've seen a playthrough. It takes about an hour and a half to beat the game. Um, on, on like a speed run or whatever. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how you were supposed to be able to tell because like there's there's a certain section of the game mm -hmm. where you're supposed to go through invisible tiles and there is nothing yeah. to indicate that these tiles are are or not not invisible tiles but intangible tiles. Yeah. And and you you fall through them and there's nothing to indicate that you should walk to the end of this hallway, fall yeah. through this, fall through the and as it's it's absolutely ridiculous. But I spent so many hours running around with that stupid little pink monster killing everything to try to yeah. save up enough gold to buy the the pieces for the I don't know. I don't even remember what we were trying to do, but I, I say the original Zelda falls victim to this a little bit as well because if you play no, the originals, no, the original Zelda does not tell you anything of what to do, and because it, it's an adventure, Patrick, I you didn't let me finish. Finish. 
it doesn't tell you what to do. You have to figure it out for yourself. But it doesn't punish you and and have you lose the game because you because you explored wrong. There are other games that do that, like King's Quest Three. <laughs> okay, so King's Quest Three, you you are you're Graham and you're you're a um, a servant, basically a slave to a yeah. wizard, and you're going around. So you're trying to escape the wizard. But if you do things in the wrong, if you do things the wrong way, or if you're just like, you know what, screw this, I'm leaving. Uh, then he'll pop after a while he'll pop in and he'll punish you and some of the punishments depending on what you're what you have in your pockets yeah. and and other things the game doesn't tell you this is going to happen but depending on what you have in your pockets uh, when he finds you you could be punished by losing the game completely not just Ooh. oh we've set you back a little bit because if yeah. you're if you don't have because um, he's he's forbid you to do ma- from doing magic right. so if you have magic components which could be a dead fly in your pocket that could be <laughs> used as a regent for ma- for magical purposes Ouch. then he then he you could be punished and lose and completely lose the game and not be able to complete it other other punishments if you're just found with like maybe some mutton and a mirror in your pockets then he'll turn you into a snail and yeah, sure. eventually you you come out of it but um like I that's that's that bad <laughs> that's just bad um to me that that was a is a great game it was addicting because i kept trying to figure out what to do uh, yeah. But to me, I think that that makes it a bad game because you're in a, an unwinnable situation and you don't know when he's coming. I'm sure that someone's gonna, someone in the comments is gonna say, "Oh, there's a timer. It's every ten minutes or whatever it is." Well, I was six at the time, so that that guy scared the crap out of me when he he just poofs into existence and he says, "You've been naughty," and then he punishes you, and by I, potentially turning you into a snail mm-hmm. or just game over which means i think that means he kills you yeah i can't remember exactly what it was but it's there's no way out of the scenario i can't remember if he turned into a slug or if he kills you or whatever happens but um yeah it's it's a game that i i like watching i like i I played a little bit of it but i keep it frustrates me too much other games like full throttle and Grim Fandango, they may have these weird puzzle elements because because King's Quest has the weird puzzle elements of like you got to trade, um, you know, you got to trade a, a snail for a glass eye and give the glass, you know, these kind of weird things that yeah. you had in gaming at the time. Um, Monkey Island does that, and all these Tim Schafer games do it, and they don't punish you uh, for doing it the wrong way or punish you uh, by uh, and set and set you back way too much because you went to a place too early uh, yeah. like if you're wandering in the desert and you come up to a medusa and the medusa turns you into stone and you're over it's over so yeah um to me i think that was a bad game in, in my opinion in regards to the design and someone in someone in the comments is going to I disagree with me, but that's fine. Let me know what your favorite bad game is that you think is objectively bad, but you were addicted to. This is a guilty pleasure thing, so I don't think there are any wrong answers in it. I think that it's a way to to look at what we like and say, hey, I, I like it, but it had all these flaws. And another interesting thing is, like, when you look at the NES era or the beginning of 3D in particular, yeah. there were a lot of experiments that were necessary to get us to where we needed to be. Like, um... Crash Bandicoot's running toward the screen. That was crazy at the time, but they managed to make it fun. And you know, yeah. by the time you get to Ratchet and Clank and the and and things like that, they they managed to take these ideas and these yeah. concepts mm-hmm. and expand them into more. Yeah. So, yeah. Let us let us know in the comments what your favorite bad game or most addictive bad game is. Yeah. We will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching This Week in Our Collective Heads. Uh, Subscribe over here and click the bell, and that way you'll know about any new videos that we put up, because we put up a lot of uh, gameplay, a lot of stories from games and stuff like that, and gameplay is down here. Yeah, and you got more editorials and new stuff down here. Check it out.